Sometimes it's good to learn from the other side. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we are back with another edition of Tactical Book Review. And today's book is War of the Flea, the classic study of guerrilla warfare by Mr. Robert Tabor. Uh, this book was originally published in 1965. Uh, this copy here that, that I got off Amazon, which is where you can get it, I'll have an affiliate link below, uh, is from 2002, it was a reprint or something or other. Uh, Robert Tabor died in the 90s, I think he died in 91 ish, give or take. Uh, and this book, like I said, was originally published in 65. Now, uh, what this book is, in case you don't know, uh, Robert Tabor was a uh, news newspaper man. I think he worked for CBS or something. And as far as I can tell, uh, based on this book, based on a little bit of research on, uh, on Wikipedia, he was at least a communist sympathizer, um, if not an out and out, you know, commie Marxist. So, uh, there's that, but what he does in this book is he goes through different guerrilla conflicts uh, post-World War II, right? So again, written in 65, so you had about 20 years of kind of uh, revolutions, insurgencies, terrorists, depending on how you want to classify this. And he goes through examples and he discusses uh, why those wars, those guerrilla wars, were successful. Or like I said, terrorism, insurgencies, whatever. Because I mean, he talks about like the IRA uh, under the British, he talks about uh, the um, Islamic terrorist insurgencies like in Morocco and Algeria. Uh, he talks about Mao Zedong and, and his rise. I think that's how you pronounce, pronounce Mao's name. I, I don't know. If, if I said that wrong, correct me. Um, Mao's uh, rise in China. Uh, he talks about Vietnam under the French because at the time he writes this, 65, our involvement in Vietnam is ramping up. Uh, quite significantly there, and we still, we don't get out of Vietnam until 73, so till about eight years after this book is published. Um, Afghanistan with, uh, um, I'll get it out, the Soviet Union, the, the 80s war, that hasn't happened yet. The war on terror, of course, hasn't happened yet. So, you know, there, there are other guerrilla wars that happen after this that follow the pattern he sets out here. And in that sense, he's a little bit above his time or ahead of his time. He, he goes through all these guerrilla wars and talks about why they're successful. Now, word of caution, uh, because he's a communist, you know, Marxist, like I said, sympathizer at best, uh, commie most likely, um, he really kind of glorifies why it was so successful and why it's so unbeatable and why you can't do anything to stop it, right? Uh, and, and on one hand, I think there's some very legitimate points that should be taken away. You should read this book, just, just so we're clear. Um, but I think we need to be careful that we don't fall into thinking, oh, you know, I read, I read the Robert Tabor book. It's like a be all end all. There's nothing that can beat it. It's, it's unstoppable. He does go through a couple examples of where guerrilla, for, guerrilla warfare, excuse me, doesn't work out. And he talks about why it doesn't work out. And, and he really has a couple main themes that he hammers home uh, throughout the book. And, and I, again, I think this is a good book. He never talks about Lawrence of Arabia, uh, although in my opinion he should have, but he's a communist sympathizer and Lawrence of Arabia was from England, um, fighting against the Turks in World War I. So, you know, that really wouldn't fit his, his commie narrative about throwing off colonial powers because, <laughs> you know, uh, Lawrence uh, worked for a colonial power. So, he doesn't get it all. It's not all inclusive. I, I think there's some things he could have he could have included maybe, but really good book, very helpful. Um, I, I found this book extremely just on point and, and enlightening and, and helpful. And, and I think it would behoove you as an American Minuteman to read this book. I would highly recommend it. Uh, it has certainly informed uh, some of my research as I prepare to write my future books. It has also informed uh, just, just my general perspective on things in, in the topic of guerrilla warfare, right? So again, would highly recommend The War of the Flea, The Classic Study of Guerrilla Warfare by Mr. Robert Tabor, probably a commie, not sure, don't mean to slander the guy after he's dead, but I think it's pretty safe to say he is. Uh, yeah, I would highly recommend this book. If you're at all interested in Minuteman stuff, uh, guerrilla warfare and understanding basic principles is, is, is a super and basic strategies is, is important, okay? Because you're an American Minuteman, you don't work for the conventional army. Uh, and if you do work for the conventional army, probably more important because, you know, the United States has been the colonial power since World War II, and we've been fighting insurgencies and losing uh, since then. So this is super informative, super helpful, would highly recommend. 
Do brave deeds and endure.